Hi you guys, welcome to Lex Journey with Spirit. My name is Lex. I'd like to welcome all of my new and returning viewers and subscribers to my channel. And do know that your support is highly appreciated. I am still currently running my 500 viewer and subscriber contest. So please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe to this channel, especially if the messages here resonate. All right, I'm coming to you guys today with a serious reading. This reading is in reference to Chelsea Curse. Spirit has driven me to the table and I've been getting constant visions and hearing um, Spirit speaking and this young lady who was former Miss USA due to her tragic death that occurred in New York City um, at the age of 30. She was also an amazing attorney. Um, as well, doing selfless acts for the community, and she was also a participant and extra um, member. So, Spirit asked me to do this reading for quite a few days now. I have been completely avoiding doing this reading because the energy that I am picking up for this reading is extremely... is extremely strong, and... A little bit dangerous to channel on this energy I had to do a little bit of meditation as well as asking for assistance with protection as I move forward on this reading again I'm going to take you guys over to what I received hey guys welcome back to Lex journey with spirit I'm going to go ahead and ask that spirit come in Provide me with the purest white light and protection as I provide you guys with this reading. I'm going to also ask the spirits around me in complete protection as I move forward in this reading. I'm going to ask that Chelsea Curse come through. You can utilize me only with the permission of my guides and ancestors, only with positivity and white light only. You may utilize my cards for messages. I'm going to ask that Chelsea Curse come through. Okay. Immediately, I'm getting... This is not what I expected, an illusion. So I'm immediately picking up on some form of an illusion that the media is not telling the entire facts. Okay, Kirsty. Okay. Ooh, I got the chills, y'all. okay. All right, Chelsea, what do you want your viewers, your fans, your friends, your family, your colleagues to know? What do you think is important for them to know? How are you currently feeling at this time? Are you okay? Okay. Um, you guys, so I'm picking up from her that um, where she's currently at, she said this is neither heaven nor hell. Okay. Okay. I was given options, but that is not what I wanted. It's an illusion. Love is a powerful thing. Love is a powerful thing. I loved her. I love them. I love my mom. My dad never understood. He was there sometimes, but not all the time. My mom is my rock. Okay. Okay. Whew. It's an illusion. It's not real. They made me do it. They pushed me to the edge. 
I couldn't tell anyone about it, not even my mother. I couldn't. I couldn't even explain to her why. I never meant to hurt her. I never meant for this to be like this. Of course, they're going to blame it on my mental health. But I was fighting. I was fighting for change. Okay, spirit, I need a break. Mm. Okay. Um. Okay, Kirsty, you can use my cards if there's any messages here that you want to pull out. To be able to explain exactly what happened to you that day. A lot of people speculate that you weren't murdered. Okay, I'm feeling like I'm hyperventilating, y'all. Like I can't really breathe. Is that how you felt going down? It was a long way. I didn't scream. I closed my eyes. Okay. Right. Fuck that hoe. Okay, so the first card that comes out is fuck that hoe. And Spirit is explaining to me and Chelsea's explaining here um, in my ear loud and clear that this was about a choice. She had to make a choice. And this stemmed from heartbreak. She said, I was heartbroken, but not heartbroken enough to where I would want to do this. She keeps saying it was staged. Choices having to be made. Ones that she didn't agree with. She said something about needing time and space. Time to take off. Time and space. This car came out. Sick without you. So basically I'm getting the sense that she was definitely, you know, very, very depressed. I'm getting sad, but not sad to the point where the thought process, I'm, I'm getting a lot of thinking here. And I'm also hearing her say that she was definitely sick without the presence of her mom constantly um, due to the distance. I'm hearing due to the distance, I needed time. I needed time away. I'm also getting the fact that she also was sick without someone that she was currently in a relationship. She keeps saying three days. It was only, she said seven days, six, three to seven days. Okay. Okay. What else you want them to know, Kirsty? This car wants to come out. Friends mention you. Okay. <laughs> so thank you, Christy. I appreciate that. So basically, Christy is explaining to me that people on the other side um, talk about not only me, but she's also referring to the fact that people are mentioning her. People are pulling her, her, her energy. And she's saying that you know, it's nothing wrong with that, but she doesn't quite know how to utilize the energy that she currently has. Um, she keeps saying I'm, it's so early. Okay. It was okay. It was early. It was so early. Okay. It was so early. She keeps saying it was so early. Okay. Time alone came out. So she definitely wanted time alone. She's saying she wanted time to recuperate her thoughts. She needed time and space. She said coffee in the morning. She had coffee that morning, early, early in the morning, inner child healing. So I'm definitely getting somebody that had an inner child wound stemming from traumatic childhood experience. Um, I'm hearing father figure. She's saying father figure, mom and dad, my mom and dad. Okay. Now I'm not going to be funny. Like it's hard for me to talk because if 
<laughs> like my chest, like air. I don't know how to explain it, y'all. Spirit, I'm going to ask that you move in. Thank you, Spirit. I'm going to ask my ancestors and my guys to move in closer to me. Thank you. Because like um, she's her energy is erratic. It, it's very powerful, but she's unsure of how much energy she's taking for me at this point. And I don't know how to explain it to you guys, but it, it can be a little bit painful. Because channeling someone who has passed, I, I, not only do I take on their their features, if it makes sense to you guys. Okay. All right. Thank you, Chelsea. Broken into. Okay. Okay, that's 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 uh that's a whole nother ball game right there, Chelsea. That's too much. That's too much. Okay, so um basically what I'm picking up here that that that, that choice that she had to make. Oh, I asked for protection. That choice that she had to make, it was a dangerous choice. Um, she keeps saying, cult, the cult made me do it. I had a choice. I had a choice. I would never do that to my mother. I took it for myself to protect my mother. Oh, my God. Ooh, I got the chills, y'all. Ooh, okay. That's a little too much. That's a dark place, Chelsea. That's a dark place. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm definitely getting a cult. A cult made her do it. So she felt like she had no other choice. She was given a choice. It was either her or someone else that she loves. Let me pick up this card that's over here, y'all. Spirit has promoted me. Take a bow. So she refused to give in to the dark entity. Okay. She's saying she wasn't going to allow something of negativity to take over her life. She said that what she was doing, she thought she was doing it for the good of helping people, the world. She said she was she was geared towards prison reform, cultivating a society, so social economic change. What else? Just Okay, um, social economic change. She she wanted to be in the spotlight, but not in a spotlight where it gave her it where it took away the very reason why she existed. She said, I believe in a higher power. Okay, Chelsea. She says she believes in a higher power, but she wasn't going to let a lesser power take over her life. She said, I know I was dealing with depression. I know I didn't speak on it. I spoke about it, about the fact on how to deal with it. Okay. So she, she's talking about the fact that she, she had people, places, the things that she was doing, she was a positive role model and she didn't want to give this negative light she didn't want to be seen as someone that gave up, but they wanted her to look as if she did. She said, I was forced to write that letter. Oh, my God. Were you by yourself, Chelsea? Because, okay, she said something about eighth, ninth floor, eighth or ninth. 29 is significant. And they told me to go to the 29th floor. Okay. 29 is significant, you guys. So this is something. It's like somebody on. She said a phone call. She had a phone call before the incident. She said, I answered the phone. I should have never answered the phone. Okay. Okay. So she's saying that she answered the phone that morning. And she should have never answered the phone. It was an ultimatum. The ultimatum drove her to do it. She says she loves her mother too much to risk losing her. Okay. Why would you say you would lose your mother? Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit threw out a couple of cards here, y'all. Okay. Pimp player. So what I'm getting out of this pimp player card is that there was somebody, a mastermind. She's saying don't take the word literally. 
She said, but there's always someone, it's always someone else involved. So there is a, a player, another player or another person involved, but were they physically there? She said, no. Okay. People stopped ignoring the red flags. So people around her was, was ignoring the red flags that she was giving off. She was asking for help in a way that it wouldn't be known that she was asking for help because she said, if the player, she keep going back to this player. She said, if this player, this other person knew that she was asking for help, it would have been worse. Okay. Wow. Okay. Okay. So it would have been worse. Okay. So this card came out working against. So whoever was working against her. Okay. Someone was working against her career change. Okay. She wanted to definitely have a career change when it came down to being on extra. She keeps saying, I wanted to do something different. I wanted to take my legal career in a different path. I wanted to ignite, ignite. Okay, why am I saying ignite? Ignite justice. Okay, so ignite justice. You wanted to ignite justice. Okay, Chelsea, what else you want to tell my viewers and your fans? What else should they know? So I'm definitely getting here someone who needed an inner child healing, who had wounds that were buried. Um, those wounds were played upon. Someone played upon her wounds is what she said. Someone prayed upon her. She said, pray. They prayed. They, they, they prayed. Okay. They prayed. I'm sorry. Okay. She's coming in and out, y'all. Spirit, you can let her in closer. It's okay. Okay, what else she want to say, Jesse? What else she want to say? She wants to take this one. Divine timing. Okay. So it was all about timing. She said something about look at the clock. Look at the clock. I jumped on time. I jumped on time. Look at the clock. Okay, because so she's she's worried about this clock this time. Dark magic. Okay, so there's definitely some some dark entities at um at play here in this situation. Um okay. Prepare yourself. Okay. Forgiveness. Okay, okay. Playing both sides. Okay. Okay. Life and death. Okay. Family knows. Okay. Surveillance camera. Okay. The neighbor. Okay. 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 Oh, it's a lot of it's a lot of messages here, y'all. She threw them out. Okay, we're gonna break this down, Chelsea, because it's a lot. You're talking really fast for me. Okay, I know, I know, I, I know, I know, I know. Spirit, um, can you allow? It's okay. Okay, so she's saying that a neighbor saw her. She said to check the surveillance camera. The, she said the night before. Check the surveillance camera the night before. I had to prepare myself. So that's why she's, she, this card, Prepare Yourself, came out. Life or death. She had to make a life or death decision um, that was stemming between her life or another person's life. There's dark magic or dark entities at play here. Her family knew somewhat. Her mother, she keeps going back to family knows. My mother. My mother. So her mother was a huge part of her life. Um, but she wasn't willing to play both sides. She says she refused to be a guinea pig. She refused to play both sides. She refused to be someone stuck in the middle. She wanted to be better than that. She did not know that when she took on this role that it came with other other contracts. She keeps saying other contracts. Okay. But this neighbor um, knows more um, than what the police does. So I, I, she said basically this neighbor saw they need to check the surveillance camera. She keeps saying the night before. She said, I, I was so happy that, that night. Okay. LGBTQ. So I'm getting here a lesbian connection. So the neighbor, 
She said, this, they, they were working against me. This is working against me. Stop ignoring the red flag. Stop ignoring me. Stop ignoring. She, it, it, so she's getting aggressive at this point. She wants people to stop ignoring the fact that, okay, she knows she had a, a depression or an underlying condition, but that was not the reason. She said, that was not the reason. Don't allow them to elude. She's saying elude. Elude. Are you saying elude or illusion? She said, oh, God. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot of cards. She, oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. okay, y'all. Um, okay. Spirit. <laughs> the neighbor. Okay. Spirit said, pick them up. Oh. Okay, car came out. Can't live like this. Can't live like this. So she couldn't live like this. Okay. Um, Spirit said, don't take the other cars. Ooh, you guys, I'm very lightheaded. Um, mm. Whew, Lord. All right, so can't live like this. She says it was like a breath of fresh air. I lost mine. Oh, Jesus. Mm. She says, what do you do when you have a choice to make? She said, love is so powerful. Love is so strong. I'm sorry. I got so tipped. This is so fucked up. I'm so sorry. Y'all see my plants moving. Y'all see my plants moving. Oh, Lord. Okay. The energy in this room is so strong. Okay. Um, My plants is just moving, y'all. Look at that. I want y'all to see that. My plan is just moving. And that's 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 her. She says, I love flowers. I love pretty things. I love to have fun. I love to love. Oh Jesus. Oh, okay. Um mm. Oh, okay. Um she says she loves to love. She loves to have fun, but she says something about uh, another woman. I can't hear her name. Um, she said, this is this was the love of my life. Caitlin? Kayla? Okay. She said, Kayla was the love. Kaylee? Kaylee, I'm sorry. Kaylee was the love of my life. I loved her. Okay. She said, I couldn't choose. I couldn't do that. I would never take another person's life in my hands. Ooh. So I took mine. Okay. She says something about a cult. A cult choice. A cult choice. She couldn't do it. She couldn't do it. She said, even though they moved on, I couldn't do it. Okay. Didn't see it coming. So she didn't see the situation coming. She didn't notice it. She didn't see it coming. She didn't know that it was going to happen. She just didn't. Um, yeah, she... Ooh. Okay, so there's a car that flew out. I'm going to pick that up. Spirit say do. Okay, creeping exposed by karmic. Okay, so she said this is the she said this was the this was the catalyst that broke the camel's back. Okay. So I'm a, so she's telling me that she was in a relationship and there were some things that were discovered 
It ended in a breakup, but this isn't the reason why either. She said there's a lot of speculation around her death, but the very same token, she says the only reason why I'm gone is because of the catalyst. She said the choice was the catalyst, and this is what made her make the decision to do what she did. She said, I left it plain and clear. There's an encryption in what I say. Okay. So she's saying if you can just decode her message, there's an encryption in her message. Yeah, new job position. So whatever this new job or position that she was going to be offered after making that choice is not the position or the job that she wanted. Um, she didn't want to have anybody else's life as a reason why she got this position or this new job. Okay. Trap. So it was all a trap. And she felt as if she was bamboozled out of her life. Um, she wished there was another way. But she says that she's neither in heaven nor hell. She keeps saying the same thing. I'm neither in heaven nor hell. I don't know what this place is. Okay. So she doesn't know where she's at. Mass gathering. So she's talking about the fact that of her funeral. She said many will come, the very people that that wanted me to wanted me to make this choice. She said, Don't believe them. The media lies. I even lie sometimes. Okay. Okay, she felt like whoever this person that she was connected to was sleeping on their connection. They wasn't taking this situation serious. She want, They wanted to know how long was it going to take for her to make the decision that she made. And she ultimately made the decision unbeknownst to them, but it was like a forced decision. She keeps talking about this new career. She wanted this new career, but she wanted the career that she wanted, not the one that was created. She keeps saying created. Smoke and mirrors. Smoke and mirrors. There's a lot of smoke and mirrors here. Everything is, is an illusion. She's saying illusion. One, one, one. Okay. She said it was an illusion. Don't believe the media. This is more than a suicide. Okay. This is not a suicide by choice. This is a suicide by this is a suicide by force in denial. So she's in denial about what what has occurred, which is why she's in this position or this state of mind of confusion. So she's in a state of mind of confusion and chaos right now. She's saying confused and chaotic. This is confusing and chaotic. Um okay. Is there anything else? Okay, is there anything else that you would like to tell the collective that you want a message to get out of here? She said there's nothing in this deck. Okay. Which, what do you want me to grab? Okay, my thing fell. Okay, it's a lot going on over here, y'all. I hear. All right. They were a low down, dirty shame. She didn't stop and think about the choice that she made. She just did it. There was a small gathering or a kickback or some type of gathering the night before, she said. But she knows she's blessed and highly favored. So she knows that she's blessed and that she's highly favored. And whatever has transpired, she's going to be okay. Okay, so she's making that known. All right. Is there anything else that you'd like to say? Same-sex couple. Twin flame. So she's still stuck on this woman. Whoever this woman is that was in her life, this, this was a, another catalyst that broke the camel's back, she said. This person was the love of her life. You're gifted. They know you're powerful. Okay, 333. Three, three. She's giving me a compliment. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm sorry for bothering you if I'm bothering you. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to channel you in here like this. I, I really wanted to give you your peace. 
but spirit, but you were urging to be heard, so I had to get that to you. Goals accomplished. So she definitely feels like she's had some goals accomplished that others may feel as if she may have squandered her life or may have given up hope. But she said hope was on the other side. Okay. Hope was on the other side. She said, I had a better chance at this than the chance that they were trying to give me. Okay. So there was some, like I said, there's somebody else involved, a dark entity, a dark group. She's saying dark group. So there was a dark group discover new challenges so she realized that what she was going that what she was going to be going through is she didn't make this decision and she ultimately she said something about a sacrifice she wasn't going to sacrifice the people she loved um she knew that she that that would just that that was going to give her new challenges or discovering new challenges and she wasn't willing to do that it was a life or death situation life or death choice but she definitely said that she never spoke about her depression to anyone besides her lover. She said, my lover knew. Fed up. She was fed up with having to make choices that she didn't want to make. And she saw a future with this person that also she said they left me. Okay. Someone left her. So ultimately she saw a future with this person. So why would she want to end in her life? She said, I have plans to marry her. Okay. So I'm hearing that somebody had plans to marry someone um, or marry this woman. I can't quite get the name right. She keeps saying it, but I can't get it right. I don't know if it's Caitlin, Kaylee, Kayla. But um, this, is, this is the person that she was in love with. She had plans to marry her. Okay, big changes, big steps. She knew, she realized that with, with that decision, that, and it, it's, it's, it's going back to trap. Okay. Trap is big changes, big steps. And she wasn't going to fall within that trap. Of She said that sacrifice is a trap. Sacrifice was a trap. And that and she said, I left it to my mother because no one else was going to get, my, my, get what I had worked so hard for. Okay? She said something about newspaper classified. So there may have been something that was posted in the newspaper or classified. Okay? This came out rape, murder, death, tragic. So there, so rape is canceled out, but I am seeing murder, death, and tragic. So she said, finding peace. Okay, finding peace is all that she wanted to do. She wanted to have peace in her life, peace in her world. She didn't want to have to make decisions that ultimately cost other people's their lives or their deaths. This is why this came out, and then this card came out right behind it. Guy friend group. So I'm getting the sense that whoever this guy friend group, which is this cult or this sacrificial person, this person that, that was going to make the decision, making decisions for me, this person was trying to make decisions for me, okay, was trying to murder someone. But instead, she was trying to find peace in her decisions that she was making, okay? All right, you guys, I'm like totally starting to lose the connection here with her. Her energy is dwindling. Okay. Thank you, spirit. All right. Passed away mourning a loss. So she definitely has knows that she passed away. She was under a lot of demonic attacks from this cult that was trying to make her I will not come I will not compete. She will not compete. Demonic attacks. Young woman. Bag lady. So whoever this person is, or you know what she's referring to, she said these demonic attacks. She was not going to compete for a spotlight when she knew she could just easily walk away. This young woman said, "I'm I, I'm gonna walk away. I don't have to compete for nothing. I don't have to sacrifice anything if I don't have to. I'm not going to." She said she wasn't going to. She wasn't going to at all. It was planned. Okay, so she said it was planned, but it was planned on the sense that it was forced. Okay, they, they gave her the biggest ultimatum of her life. It was either her or her mother that day. She said it was either me or my mom. Okay, so she said something about a broken window or glass. Okay, corporate America is corrupt. Okay, corporate America is corrupt. Rethink and reinvent. They need to rethink and reinvent their tactics, she's saying. 
And I and she said, I told them to dare to try me, that I will do it, 3-3. Three, three. So she, they didn't believe that she would do what she did. She gave them warnings. She said, I gave them warnings. I was not going to be their guinea pig. I wasn't going to allow them to control me. I wasn't going to be controlled. I wasn't going to have them make decisions for me. I wasn't going to allow people to think that they can run over top of me. Love is love. And love is the strongest thing that I can give. And that's what she's saying. She said, I love so hard that I was willing to take my own to save others. She said, I'm not going to be a guinea pig. I'm not going to compete for something that isn't worth competing for. Do we use magic to turn them against you? So there was a lot of magic here. Back up against the wall. She felt like her back was up against the wall, that she had no choice. This was a no choice situation. She said it made it look like a suicide, but it was it was a suicide by force. Okay? Pulling away from them. Okay, because she was a pulling away from this group of people that put her in this spotlight. And they wanted to continue to control her, but she was beginning to pull away from these people because she didn't fit in anymore. She said, I was an outcast because of my ideas. Okay? She wanted to make herself a priority. She needed a break. She needed time away. She needed time to rethink and to make decisions. You know, she needed a sick leave. She needed time to take away. She needed time to take away from this situation. Because she realized that she was better than whatever they were proposing to her. Okay? Man, da man down. Man, man down. Woman. So basically, she knew she had to make this decision. Okay? Promote. She was promoted but not satisfied. She wasn't satisfied in the promotion that she was given. It came at a price, she said. It came at a price. She said, I wish I knew what I was getting into before I took the crown. Oh, my God. Left out in the cold. It was. She said she felt like she was left out in the cold. There was no one to turn to to really talk about her needs and concerns at all. She felt like she was left out in the cold. Okay, so she was definitely wishing upon a star, hoping that change was going to come, hoping that someone was going to hear her call, hoping that someone was going to be able to really understand the situation. She said, I made a bad investment. I made a bad investment with an employer. So whoever, whoever she was employed with, this was a judgment call, a judgment call. Okay, based upon new everything. Okay, she she wanted everything renewed. She wanted her life renewed. Okay, so it's happening already. Okay, so the choices that she made is what she made. Okay, so she decided that she was going to go ahead and move forward with that judgment call. She wasn't going to let, I don't beg, I make my way. So she says she's not going to beg for people to hear her. She wasn't going to beg for change. She wasn't going to beg for this position. She said, I'm not going to take something that I didn't deserve. And I'm not going to take something at the expense of others. Okay? She said, I'm a life saver. Okay? She said she was a life saver because she mm -hmm. saved another person's life in this situation. She said this was trickery at its finest. Dealing with these people, these group of people that she was dealing with. She said this was my exit plan. This was my exit plan to save not only myself, but my soul. Oh my God. She said, I fabricated and photoshopped the evidence. Okay? This was called a chain reaction. They have no they have no pillar to stand on. Okay? They wanted to upgrade me, but I was already upgraded. Okay? All right. She, it, they were all about showing her the money, but she was about uh, renewing at her higher self. She said she did not believe in their calls. All right. So I'm going to leave it at this because it's getting really loud in here. Spirit, My spirit guides are getting really agitated and I'm really losing connection with this young woman at this time due to the noise because I'm having a hard time concentrating. And plus, I'm really exhausted and drained from channeling this energy. It is extremely powerful, you guys. Like, I may do a second reading on this. Um, if she permits me um, to see exactly what she has to say. Um, but this is this is what it is. We're talking about a young woman who was tragically put in a situation um, battling between light and dark. This wasn't a choice that she wanted to make. This was something that she had to make in order to save others. Because she wasn't going to be put in a situation. She keeps saying, I don't want to be put in that situation ever again. Okay. So we're going to leave it here, spirit.